Okay, we have some audio going now. This is technically not the stream. I, it says streaming shortly, but of course I'm already streaming because I was streaming the message that I'm streaming shortly. I probably need a better color for that. Um, but hopefully this will let people who want to uh, join my stream uh, when it starts, we'll give them a couple of minutes to do so. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, there is nobody who wants to watch your stream ever in any way, and you're correct about that. So really, this doesn't help anyone. But again, the point of my stream is to help no one, and so it accomplishes that goal. I'm still in the, um, in, in the uh, setup stage here. Um, and um, so I'm going to mumble incoherently for a while, and then once we get started, I will mumble incoherently in a slightly different way. Uh, because let's face it, um, uh, da -da 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 -da. um okay. Um, all systems appear to be okay, although I will be um, mentioning <coughs> something about that once we really start. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, the overlay there, which I'm so clever about. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so now technically we're streaming. Woohoo! Yay, we're live. Um, okay, so today we're going to be looking at the README stream as always, even though it's useless. A um, couple of things I want to mention for today. One is that I am, as you know, diabetic, as you may know, you may not know, uh, I'm diabetic. And my blood sugar is actually fairly low right now. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't feel it. Uh, so it is possible that I will, um, the most likely possibility is that I will stop streaming and get some sugar, sugar, uh, 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 but actually carbohydrates in some easily digestible form. Uh, I do have glucose tablets, but they're really, really bad, so I don't use them. I, I mean, they're, they would work, but they just taste really bad. They're that fake grape flavor that I think some people have a genetic tendency to recognize is not great while other people get fooled by it. I do not get fooled by it. I also wanted to apologize for the end of the stream yesterday where I tried to do something uh, extremely uh, computer intensive on my main machine and it actually cut off the stream. And if you look at the very end of the stream, there's some guy, which I assume is a Twitch guy, uh, doing something on the, on the streams indicating that bad things are happening. It's possible that for some reason I set that as my uh, you know, let the stream keep going for a minute if I can't, if I can't stream thing. In any case, uh, those are, those are two things that happened. Okay, um, so yesterday we were talking about using floating point numbers to compute population density, to actually store population density, not compute it, um, and then use that population density to see not necessarily how many people are dying of COVID, but also how many people you know, in terms of density, wh where is the worst rate? But right now the worst rate is uh, New York State and New Jersey, that area there uh, near New York City is pretty bad. Uh, but we could also look to see which areas have less and, and that we, this might not even end up working because it's problematic and blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, so that's one thing we want to do. Um, now, I think we've looked at this page before, that we might have looked at a different version of this page, but uh, same data. Um, and, and the sort of interesting thing here is, um, right now, the total number of COVID deaths, although it keeps increasing every time I look at it, doi, um, in, in the United States, um, come on, is this, okay. God, I really, really need to freaking turn off ads, or at least make them less relevant to me. Okay, so in the U.S. we've had 35,944 deaths. Not great, obviously. I'm not saying that it is. Um, which means we're still... I mean, these are 2017 numbers. We could sort of egress them forward to 2020 uh, based on our percentage growth rate, but... Um, but the, the even even with that, even without that, we're currently under the rate. It's currently wouldn't make the top ten, assuming these numbers are somewhat relevant to the year 2020. However, I noticed the sort, and uh, and they're not anywhere near the flu. In fact, I don't know. The nephritic, by the way, means of or relating to the kidneys. So this is basically kidney failure, uh, extreme kidney failure. And I do want to tell my kidneys personally, uh, this is a very stupid way to die. Um, <clears throat> If you think you want to fail or something, please let me know. 
because then I could do this because it's a much cooler way to die. In fact, everything on here is a much cooler way of dying than nephrotitis, which you know sounds like it's kind of sexy, but it's not really. It's your freaking kidneys. So my kidneys, I'm putting you on alert. Please let me know if you're going to kill me. I want to die from one of the other eight to nine ways of dying here. Uh, one problem with the uh, COVID measurement, though, is some people who develop COVID-19 will later get pneumonia and die. So the, the, the problem is, uh, I mean, I'm guessing CDC is going to make a special column or a special row for COVID and COVID-related deaths. But if they did it the way they did it um, in previous years, some of the COVID deaths will just come under pneumonia because of some people who get COVID, about 25% of them uh, get pneumonia and, and, and die. Well, I mean, some of them get pneumonia and recover, but some of them get pneumonia and die. Um, and of course, as I've pointed out before, because COVID is so um, killing so many people, it's possible that a lot of people that influenza would have killed are being killed by COVID first. So again, there's not necessarily a direct uh, comparison here, but as for right now, we're still under the influenza, uh, the influenza, influenza threshold. Uh, although this pneumonia could mean non non flu pneumonia, so it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, but the general idea here is, um, yeah, we're, 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 we're cranking up on those deaths. I'm going to look at how many new deaths we're having, and I'm, I'm going to try to make, and this is, again, the worst thing you can do is try to make forecasts on this stuff because it's so inaccurate. But just for fun, I might make a completely inaccurate forecast as to when the coronavirus will reach this uh, number here, maybe multiplied by add 9% add to it for the three years that have passed, to see if the coronavirus, assuming things that aren't true, like it's going to be broken out as a separate cause, would make the top 10 for this year. And then I will do my Casey Kasem impression and count it down to number one, though I do not think we're going to reach anywhere near this many deaths from COVID ever. Uh, not, even, not even next year. So that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, and this is the link, if you need it, to... Um, so the link, the, the link to the link between COVID and pneumonia, which shows that um, people who die from COVID could die of pneumonia. So blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, so we found out last time, wow, we're still nailing this, um, that uh, it's fairly easy to store uh, floating point numbers in Perl because Perl has a function that just does it very nicely. Uh, <coughs> so I actually did go ahead and... Um, Come on, behave. God damn it. Uh, okay. So yesterday I actually did create some new files, which um, are hard to see because they have such long names. These guys, and as expected, they are all 933 megabyte, 0.12 megabytes. Um, and now I'm going to, now the idea is if you could dig into any of these files, you can find the, um, the, po the population count. I guess I need to do it for density also but not right now. Uh, the population count of a given area. Um, population density is not simply that divided by land because uh, not all squares are full land. Uh, for square, squares that are full land, that's not a problem, but for squares that are part land, part water, we assume that people live on land. Um, so the goal here was gonna be if I combine all these files, it's gonna create a huge, roughly eight gigabyte file, and I could put that into a squash file system. I'm not gonna do it from here uh, because that's just freaking stupid, but I will mount it from here. And then we can see if we can write a program that correctly uh, grabs uh, the population count given a latitude and longitude. Um, and if that works, we're gonna go and try to draw a map of population count that should look very similar to the map we're all familiar with of population count. At the very least, it should show you know where the, where the major land masses are. Um, I don't know. I guess they do give population density for pure water squares, but it's going to be zero, obviously. And because there's a lot of redundancy in this data, I am assuming that when I glue these suckers together uh, and then squash them, uh, the squash file will be very small or small enough that I could, you know, put it on my uh, DigitalOcean server, and um, and I might even be able to create this all these things there and then squash them. You know, th there's many options, but th it'll be small enough that I could actually serve it. As, and then use an API service for people to get the population count at a given latitude and longitude. That's, that's the sort of goal that we're going to from there. Um, like I said, I also want to kind of look at the number of deaths in the U.S. over the past few days, because I'm thinking that it's starting to decrease. I mean, 
you know, that's that's not. I mean, it's not necessarily. De it's it's sort of stabling out, is my is what I'm thinking. I don't know that though. Um, and we also wanted to look at this section of data, which we hadn't looked at before. We do need to update both of our gets, but um, which actually I think has the data for the United States and may have data for uh, the world. And it, this might have more data that's useful to us in a way that we can do it. So that, that's what's going on today. Uh, that's the plan for today. Now, I, I fully expect someone to show up in chat and distract me. So I'm not even going to look to see who's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cheat. I'm gonna, this is violating your privacy, maybe. Uh, no one is in chat, and except I'm pretty sure pretty sure this guy is fake. I uh, don't know. I don't know about these two guys. So if you're real people, say hello or don't. I don't care. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And unfortunately, a lot of this work's going to be done uh, on a different machine, but hopefully it'll be quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, concatenate uh, all these files, and I'm going to do it in the order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then we'll need to figure out kind of what where the different chunks are, but that's not a, that's not a big deal. So let me go ahead and do that in the hope that I have enough disk space left for that, which I should, but you never know. Um, let me just double check because I don't want to run out of space. I've got 160 gigs, which should be fine. Um, count. Actually, let me just do an echo of these first to make sure they come out correctly. What am I doing? Dot section. Dot ASCII. Dot BZ2. Dot bin. Man, I, I am kind of nuking this thing. So let's just see if I can get these in order. I mean, they sh they kind of should be in order, and I could be doing this part over here. In fact. Um. Okay, so they are showing up in order, which is good. Uh, and keep in mind, this is raw data. There is literally no markers or anything here. So when we glue these together, it, we, we will need to know more about this. Uh, so I'm going to put them together in something called dot all dot bin. And I don't know how long this will take. Hopefully it's not going to crash the stream this time. Uh, but you never know. It might. And let me put that in the background. Ooh, okay. Already taken up some more space than I wanted to. And this will be, I don't know if it'll show up here yet, but uh, this will be the all.bin, which is going to combine them. It's going to be about 8 gigabytes in size. Uh, and I could just keep it that way for testing, but I'm going to be a little bit more obnoxious. Come on. Ooh, hey, 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 why did that stop? Um, the concatenation is still going. I think that's like two of the files. We have two of them in there. That's almost definitely this times two unless well maybe it's not yeah just close to two so uh, now of course we could be doing productive work during this time um, but we're not so this is going to be the um, this is going to be the eight gigabyte file that combines them all in order but because the order is kind of weird it's not going to give us exactly what we need we are going to have to do some more work with this and all right we're up to six gigabytes um, which I think is like six of these glued together. So just waiting for number seven and number eight. And during this time, I'd like to mention that we are sponsored by nobody. And I pay for my own bandwidth, but that's okay because Comcast has declared a bandwidth holiday. I can use as much as I want until I think mid-May. Mid I, I don't remember when it is, but, but it's definitely on right now. So I can waste as much bandwidth as I want. And I plan to. I'm trying to b download as much big data as possible, but I'm actually running, literally running out of space um, on, my, on my hard drives. So I probably need to get more hard drives, too. Okay, let's just keep going here. We're up to seven. Let's, that might be all of it. Nope, that's not all of it. Oh, hang on. It, oh, it is all of it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right, so now on the other system, I'm going to do what's called make squash FS. I can't do it here because... Because I'm mounting, it's going to be very, very slow to do it from here. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to try to put this into a squash file. Um, because I don't know how to do anything. I'm going to look at my... Uh, I've done this before, so I kind of... So it's kind of a weird... Let's see. Um... um yeah, 
you do need some options for it. Um, which, and you don't have to reroot or anything to do this. Um, and I know you can't see what I'm doing, and it's kind of boring and stupid. Um, I'm going to call this pop count dot squash. By the way, did you know that in Britain, squash is actually, they call racquetball squash because, uh, well, because they're stupid. But, you know, we, we try to help them out. Okay, so making squash, this should not take that long. Um, it's already at 5%, so when this shows up, now the hope here is it's much, much smaller than, um, than the 8 gigabytes of data. It isn't done yet, although that would be really nice, 92 megs. Um, it is about 40% done now, so again, while we have this dead time, I will remind you I have diabetes, diabetes type 2, which is not a real disease, it's just because I was stupid as a youngster. I also, uh, diabetes is actually also on the list of reasons people die, and it's fairly high, actually. Uh, it's higher than... Um, and then COVID. So COVID, you know, I'm thinking you've got to do a little bit of work here. You're going to, I'm old, so heart disease, cancer, accidents, all of these things very relevant to me. COVID, I need to see you climbing up a little bit. Come on, give it, give it a little bit of effort there, COVID. Okay, we're now done with the squash system. And let's see. Um, I can't tell, I think that's two gigs, unfortunately. Let's see, six... No way. Is that just 277 megabytes? Score American! That is only... T okay, so now we need to mount this sucker. Now, this is a mount inside a mount. Um, which is weird. Um, but, I think it's just squash mount. Squash fuse, and it'll tell me how to do this. Uh, archive and mount point. Let's go ahead and... I think I already have a mount directory here, because I actually wanted to create one. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to pseudo this, but uh, let's call this pop count. Yeah. Uh, let's pseudo that. Um, and I might have to, m I m probably do have to pseudo this as well. The archive is pop count uh, dot squash. It is Pomodoro time. It's the first one, so we're going to skip it. Um, pop count dot squash on mount pop count. And now, if everything has worked correctly, Um, it doesn't seem like it has, but okay. And there we are. There we have our 8 gigabyte file, or I guess technically slightly less than 8 gigabyte file, um, that contains the glue of all the one, the, the other bin files. Um, and we can use it just as a normal file now. I think, though, I probably do need to change permissions on that, so hang on one sec. Uh, let's give everyone read and execute permission on mount pop count. And I'll need to sudo that, because it's owned by... Ooh! Because it's, cause it's a mount inside of a mount. You know, I... Ooh, okay, hang on. Um, okay, well, that looks not too dangerous. I mean, dangerous, but in a good way. Uh, I think I should have read access to that. Okay, I should be fine. Okay, so now... It's gonna, this is going to require some work. Now we need to see if we can look in that file, we can do seek or lseek or whatever it is, and find the data we want. Uh, and this, of course, shows up in a function I haven't written yet. Um, but, meaning however, um, there's actually some functions that uh, map server lib, yeah. So, there are, this doesn't quite, the seek tests, which were, by the way, and again, seek here means the, um, means looking inside a file. It does not refer to the, um, religion, Sikhism, which, by the way, is different from Islam. Um, so that's a, th that's a thing. Okay, so in the, in the BC lib map here, um, the, the land use is a, is a bin file. And I do use it like this here. I basically you seek to where the data is and get it. And and so this this is this is not something I haven't done before. This is something that uh, I, I sort of understand how to do. I've done it before. Uh, it's a little bit special in this case because we're using eight files glued together, which isn't really a huge deal. In fact, I think somewhere in here I might even have that. 
uh, in one of these files. Um, but maybe, and also the problem is with this, some of this crap is it might be in Yamak Git because um, I have split my efforts between these two. Okay. All right. So we'll go and go into BC Git Maps and we will call this um, read bin file dot p. Now I gotta be a little bit careful here because this is gonna be very specific to the pop count. Um, uh, and I'm gonna put a maybe generalized with a question mark because, um, and this is a, an abuse of Perl, uh, Perl's uh, Perl doc format, but I do, um, we're going to use it anyway. So the, the issue here is we want to know what order our data is in because we, we glued eight files together. So how do we do that? Well, we go back and look at the, we don't actually need to look at the original files because when we created the, the original bin files, we actually ignored the order. Uh, we actually ignored all the metadata that might be helpful. We didn't ignore the order, but we ignored the metadata. So now we need to recreate the metadata from the um, from the ASCII files. Now, this is going to be ugly because I. The problem with this is um, we're using a very specific subset of. Um, a very specific subset of what we want. And so <laughs> it's basically these files. So, and we only need the, the very top of this one. So what we're gonna say is the first file is, um, so now uh, we're gonna go ahead and interpret this and not just put it, uh, file one, let's we'll say one. Uh, this file goes from minus 80 in the lower left corner. This is actually another way of saying zero. Um, um, so the, the Y lower left corner is, and we'll do this, uh, one eight, minus 180, zero. Um, below is lower left corner in long lat form. But it's the X value is the longitude, Y value is the latitude. So this is, this is these are not going to be terribly interesting, but, but we do need them. So the second one is um, minus 90 in longitude, still zero in latitude. Third one, I'm guessing, is going to be zero, zero. I mean, that's kind of where you would expect it to be. Um, and it is, even though they don't know how to say the word zero, zero. And then this one's probably going to be 90, zero. I mean, that's kind of the way we're going with this. Uh, yep, 90, zero. And now the other halves are going to be the ones that start at minus 90, meaning they're the ones below the equator. These are now in the southern hemisphere that we're going to be looking at. So this is not as exciting as I thought it would be. So minus 180, minus 90 is the lower left corner of the world, kind of, on a, on a cylindrical map. Mercator doesn't actually map minus 90. But again, no one really lives there, so no one really cares about the, this. That's sort of just an artificial. And that's minus 90 minus 90, the next one's going to be 0 minus 90 if, uh, um, yeah, if the order holds up, which it better because otherwise we'll be missing some data which we do not want. And this is 0 minus 90. Uh, and then the last one has to be the one that's left, which is 90 minus 90. So basically we, we go through the northern hemisphere in chunks of 90 degrees, and then the uh, southern hemisphere in chunks of 90 degrees. Okay. Um, so what we need here is, um, given a longitude and latitude, we need to convert it to a byte. We need to know where in, in the big, huge 8 gigabyte file our data is. And that's literally the only thing we need to do. Um, well, okay, actually, then we actually need to read the byte and convert it to a floating point. So, okay, that's not the only thing we need to do. Uh, we need to do a little bit more than that. But let's go ahead and just create a function that gets us to the byte. Um, so we send it. Um, now, at one point, I had talked seriously about 
making everything and you know what yeah let's it's a little bit more difficult but we're gonna pass everything as a hash um, um, and and the reason to do that is if I want to add options or anything I don't have to um, or I want to change you know there's a lot of good things we could do here so uh, with the hash it's very flexible that's the reason we're doing it. So in this case, we're going to have, um, and this, just for right now, is going to be basically, um, oh, actually, can I do extract hash? Yes, I think I figured there is, now this is not necessarily a good idea, but I think there is a way to, uh, PHP used to have a function called extract. Um, uh, and I think... It's, and I got kicked out of a, I'll say this like 10 billion times, I got kicked out of an IRC chat for suggesting that Perl could have a, a version of that that would be nice. Uh, for example, here, I mean, it's still, it's still really dangerous to do that. So, I mean, it's not like, um, it's not a good idea. But, it can be useful sometimes, and maybe I do not want to do that. Um... Actually, you know what? No, let's just use it as a hash. I mean, that's that maybe is the correct thing to do. So the first thing we need to do is figure out which of these chunks it's going to be in. Um, and that will be determined by... Um, all right, let's be hash lung. And the first thing we need to know is which chunk of 90 degrees it is in terms of latitude which is div 90, and we want the floor of that. That's going to be a number between, um, okay, and we're going to be using minus 180 to plus 180 for longitude. So that's going to be a number between uh, minus 180 over 90 is minus 2, but we're never actually going to hit that, so it's going to be between minus 1 and 180 over 90 is 2. We're never going to hit that either. I'm doing something wrong. Okay. So this is going to be a number between, oh, we're using the floor. So this is going to be between minus 2, if you're using, and we can, we can easily verify this. Hey, where did my Q, control L. So minus 180 overnight. We shouldn't do that because minus 180 is like a, an extreme value. Really? Okay, that's going to be minus, on the floor, that's going to be minus 2. The extreme on the other side is going to be like 179.99, and I don't think putting the double dashes there hurts anything, so I'll leave it. And that's going to floor down to 1. So the values here are going to be um, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. Uh, just so we have that. And then we need, for the latitude, we only need... Um, uh, the latitude is only split to uh, basically by... It's either uh, above or below. It's either negative or positive, I think. Let me make sure here, because latitude, there, yeah, it's only whether it's negative or positive. Um, and so it's going to be the signum of hashlat. And I, I'm pretty sure that's correct. And i got to be careful to watch out for, and I'll, I'll make a note of this. Um, watch out for corner cases, including zero lat, and plus minus 180 lung. So we do need to watch out for those cases. We might actually need to um, plus minus 90. No, no, I mean, those are, you know, again, those are going to be extreme extrema cases, but, but someone might actually end up, someone might actually end up using them. We do need to handle them. Not, not a huge deal. Um, okay, I'm being super clever now. So how do we get... Okay, so the first thing we need to do is... Um, if latitude is positive... Mm, okay. Let's actually... I'm too clever! Okay. So minus... If this is minus 2, we want to get kind of a 1. Minus 1, we want to get... 2, if this is 3, you want to get 0. So we're basically going to be doing 3 plus 
floor hash to do. Okay. And that'll give us the portion that is, um, that's the portion that varies with longitude one, two, three, or four. But of course, if, um, if the latitude is negative, we need to add four to that. So I think we can do that as plus, oh God, I'm gonna hate myself in the morning. Actually, I hate myself all the time, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this this uh, this is this is a monstrosity. Um, so this will tell us what chunk it's in, but that is an important thing to know. By the way, we're also going to need um, the div of these things with respect to 90 uh, because we need to know... Um, did I say the div? I meant the mod. Because we need to know where in the, in the chunk it'll be. Now, this is so hideous. I'm going to test it, and I'm going to test it with some random values. Um... Ling equals rand times 360 plus 180. We're doing this in degrees, we could do it in radians. Times 180 plus 90. And then... Um, Ling lat 2 byte. Now this is... okay. This is where we want to... Annoy people by not quoting this. Uh, long line to byte of the reference to the hash. Now we probably want to actually tell people what we're sending in because otherwise it's not very useful as a test. Okay, so let's see how well this works. So by the way, I haven't even chamotted this. Let me go ahead and chamot it on the other machine. It's much easier. Um, and now if I can run this read bin file, this might give me, um, I, yeah, wow, I actually created something without remembering to put my library at the top. Okay, so let's see what this does, this is probably going to go right off the edge of the screen, I didn't like that. Um, clearly I've effed something up because I meant minus on both of these. Okay, if this works, I do need to bc gitify this. In fact, I, I'm going to go ahead and bc gitify it now before I forget. Meaning I'm going to push it to git. That's what bc gitify means. In this context. Okay. Off it goes, and now let's do this. So... Minus minus for both. Let's go ahead and look at the minus minus for both should be in chunk. No, that is not good. That should be in chunk five. What's going on here? Am I adding the right thing? Um. Okay, this might be excessive. Oh no, this is less than zero, because the, the positive latitudes are. Let's try that again. Different, different random numbers, both negative. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's be a little bit nicer here. So that gets us then um, yeah, it's less than zero chunk plus equals four. That's kind of ugly. This is actually the same thing, so I think. Uh, but maybe for some reason I was doing the, the ternary operator um, incorrectly. This is actually probably cleaner anyway. 
All right, so if we have a positive uh, longitude, um, but a negative latitude, it's going to be one of these. It's going to be in uh, this, because it's between 0 and 90. That's good. Uh, 4429, the latitude is between 0 and 90, and it's a positive, so we're going to get it in 3. That's good. Uh, negative 56 is going to be between negative 90, and so th that one's correct. 161 and minus 83. Uh, 161 is a very big longitude, and we're in the negative side of this, so it is 8. I'm going to test two more before I uh, get tired of this. Uh, 117.54. Um, 117 is above 90, uh, but we have a positive latitude, so it's going to be in this chunk. Uh, above 90, okay. Yeah. All right, I'm happy. Okay. So that tells us which sort of which chunk that we're looking at. Uh, the next thing to do is we need to figure out where in this chunk we're going to find our data. So that is, um, so we're going to leave this alone. Um, now because we're, we're kind of flying blind here, which is a bad idea, um, we're just, we know, we happen to know for a fact that each chunk of data is eight bytes long and each latitude is going to take up in in th this case um so let's do y first sorry um um actually this is the um okay uh it is pomodoro time i call it 30 seconds early back in 2 and 2 Okay, we're almost back. And we're back. Okay. So now, this is where I'm probably going to get something upside down, which is why testing is such a good idea. Um, in latitude, we start at the bottom left and we go upwards, and each chunk of latitude and each t chunk is 0 0.0883 degrees. Yeah, this is going to get ugly. Um, okay, so now, let's see. Um, don't hard code these values. Hello, Natalie. How are you doing? Let me take a look at what you're saying. Hello, Natalie. How are you doing? Wonderful to see you as always. And by see you, I mean not see you, because to see you, I would need to visit your channel, which uh, is a wonderful channel. Everyone should visit Natalie's channel. And uh, they're, 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 that's how she spells it. And in case you didn't know, to get to a Twitch channel, you just do twitch slash TV slash the, slash the person's name. Um, way better than my channel, although I'm guessing at this moment uh, she's not streaming. Although you can stream and talk to people at the same time. Um, I, it's, it's even possible that she's actually hosting me. I don't know, but, but, but clearly, wonderful person. Uh, everyone should go. Don't fall in love with her, because I already have, and I think me and Milky Moo are currently competing for her affections, and she has a real-life boyfriend, too, apparently, 
who uh, doesn't actually bother to show up. Oh, thank you. You don't have to. I was I was just thinking that you might already be doing it, but that's okay if you're not. I mean, let's see. Before you do that, let's see what's going on. Who are you hosting? Oh, well, now hosting Barry Carter. That's me. So, what I do want and plan to do on my stream? That's kind of interesting. Build a ma moth trap. I thought that was a set of math trap. Thank you, Natalie. Read and this is, I've never actually read your uh, your plans here. I am unless this is new. Read in my dormouse book. By the way, a dormouse is a not actually a mouse. Uh, all right, fantastic. I wish I'd been in moth trap. Now I do I do want to say that moths. Um, I do support moth trapping, provided the moths are trapped humanely. Dormouse book. I don't know what that is. Now a dormouse. We're going to go ahead and look for one is not, I don't think it's actually a mouse. Yeah, it's a mouse-like rodent. Um, probably most famously known from Alice in Wonderland as one of the animals having tea with the Mad Hatter. It was a dormouse, not a regular everyday mouse. No, I don't know what, you know. Read scientific papers, so uh, that should be, that should be very dull, actually. Um, scientific papers are extremely dull. And I don't know why you want to read them at all, but if you want to read them on stream, somehow that makes it worse. Learn GIS. Now, the bizarre thing here is... Uh, I'm not going to watch while I'm doing something else. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down because it looks weird to watch myself. Learn GIS is something I might actually be able to help you with. In fact, today's stream, I am doing some GIS-like stuff. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking population count data uh, about dormouse <laughs> conservation. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know why dormouses need to be conservative. I, I feel that their political affiliation is... Um, hello, Milkister Moo. Yes. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, is that actually true? It's not... Does this look like a woman to you? Does this look like a woman? I'm happy to advertise these people. This is a woman, but doesn't look like a woman. This is a woman who looks like a woman. This is a woman, but you can't really tell from this image woman and you can tell woman and oh she's live right now but you can't tell woman and you can tell i don't think it's i wouldn't say it's full of women although there are quite a few of them there um just one man a very fem oh, okay that's now that's cruel this guy is uh wow i didn't even know who it was until i hovered over him you have just offended stephen wolfram the creator of mathematica and probably one of the greatest minds of our time Way smarter than me, by the way. Just so you know. Um, I'm just one in the crows. What do you What do you mean? Um, you're not showing up in this. I, you know, I don't think you'll show up in this list at all because I'm on your freaking channel. So I don't think you show up if I'm already watching you. But let's find out. Let's see. No, Jenny John. No, no. I mean, you might. I don't. They've got tons of people here. Yeah, but the reason you're not showing up is because one, one in the crowd. Yeah, but but you are the person I'm looking at right now. You are the most awesome person in the world. Um, okay, and unless of course you succumb to Milkis Dremu's charms and become his girlfriend. Um, oh, so yeah, Wolfram is streaming. Wow. Oh, I, I love Elderly Squirrel. I kind of wish I wasn't streaming so I could watch these people, but I'm not going to. Um, um, by the way, I just got a Discord message uh, from Bridge Alien, who is one of the people who is streaming right now, that she's going to Bioshock now, which means she might have actually been streaming coding until now. Uh, I don't know. Um, which would have been fun, which I should have gotten in on, but I thought... I thought she was streaming non-coding the whole time. Anyway, let's not talk about her. Um, she, Alien Bridge is a she. I, I know that. Uh, I've seen her stream. I mean, again, today is very hard to tell, but she certainly looks like... I call her a uh, gofish girl, and she's okay with that. I know gender is an issue these days, but um, to the best of my knowledge, she is and identifies as female. Um, okay, we actually had something interesting happening here for a second, and we almost skipped over it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I know, Breaking Bad, I live in Albuquerque. Yes, Breaking Bad was set here. A lot of the scenery, uh, a lot of the scenes are filmed on, on very New Mexican, on very Albuquerque-looking uh, buildings. And yes, Albuquerque looks a lot like it does in Breaking Bad. And uh, yes, if you get a few minutes outside the city, um, uh, you will, there is a lot of sort of empty area here. We do, we do live in a desert. This is uh, the great southwestern desert. So not a lot of shrubbery. You know, the, sh the, tr the city has made some effort to put up some nice plants and stuff. But outside the city, it is naturally a desert. And, um, and that, that is reflected in the fact that it is a lot of very barren, sandy areas. And if you want to hang out there, you could get a rattlesnake bite because the city is, is very much sort of an oasis in the middle of a desert. Um, which is kind of nice if you were like stargazing and stuff because you get, you get away from the lights very quickly. Um, and you see some pretty good stars and, uh, you know, I, I mean, it is, it is a good reflective of a very good desert. Um... Rock pucker mouse, I, I, I'm, I don't want to see the, what the word rock pucker means, but it just sounds so dirty. I have to. Oh, there, rock pocket or picker mouse. I think you mean pocket mouse. Yeah, I've actually I know what a pocket mouse is. I don't know what a rock pocket mouse is. Um, it's one of nineteen species of pocket mice in the genus. The chato dip your mama I can't pronounce that so these guys these are some this is not a rock pocket mouse this appears to be someone who's talking about a rock pocket mouse I do not believe that rock pocket mice have achieved sentience so um no 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 see now you're you're trying to distract me that is a very different kind of mouse um and believe me I did once uh confuse the two of them there was a lot of squeaking. It was pretty sad. Uh, was not very conducive to computer work. And I, I do wish to say that uh, trying to combine the two types of mice was a failed experiment. And I do... Um, now, there is a name for that when it appears somewhere else on the body, but I can't... I don't think I can say it here without getting in trouble. Uh, a landing strip. So I just said it. But... Um, Anyway, anyway, if you want to land planes on Milkister Moo's head, he has shaved for you. So the pocket mouse is uh, is is a is a mouse. But anyway, like I said, do not confuse computer mice with uh, biological mice. It doesn't work. And I do want to say that Bobby was a good mouse. I loved him very much, and I'm sorry that I crushed him under my hand, and. Uh, Jerry Mouse is, again, from Tom and Jerry. Um, the really sad thing is we had something going here that was actually scientific. I'm going to try to return to that. Learn GIS. So what I'm doing right now in stream as we speak, or actually before we started speaking, um, I was pretending, see, that I actually tried using a biological mouse as a computer mouse, and the motions of my hand you know, moving him around and clicking on him and double-clicking on him killed him. And that his name was Bobby. That is not a true story. I did not actually kill a mouse named Bobby while trying to treat him like a computer mouse. Okay, see, you're really, really going to get me in trouble here if I keep doing this. Um, I am not going to continue as Margaret Fontaine. Um, I don't want to see that. Okay, so the rest of today's stream as a mink. That's right, we did actually have a picture of Milkister Moo earlier. Uh, he does look remarkably like, like a mink, the rodent. So now, uh, what I was doing before we got here... Oh, Nick and Soph, I love them. Go watch them if you're watching this. They're much better than I am. Um, or watch Nadlo, who's hosting me, which means you'll still see me. Um... The person in the picture was not a woman. I think it was a man. I don't know anymore, though. Anyway, this is in the Science and Technology uh, channel, so learn GIS. So literally what I'm doing before you got here and started bothering me, 
was I was looking at the population count data and I'm trying to convert it to a binary file so that we can I can serve it as data for people who want it. Uh, the uh, the population count data from GPW4 as estimated in the year 2020. Um, I'm confused and I like it. Okay. Um, so th that's what I'm doing. Basically, we have this population count data, which if I think, if I'm very clever, I can bring up as a PNG file. Um, this is population count data, which is different from density data, but it's not very interesting because... Oh, hang on. This is... I'm going to regret this. Shiny. Actually, I brought it up in QGIS last time. Um... No one wants this data. Well, fuck you. Just fuck you. I like this data, goddammit. And I'm pretty sure I can... I'm going to bring it up again in... Um, Actually, I think I have that still... Oh, I did do that. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, I know, and they have a lot of mistakes here that I, I need to turn this off. Um, and this is going to really fuck with my uh, settings. Because for one thing, QGIS requires a huge window. Um, this is not exciting. I'll show you what I did yesterday. Oh well, Milkister Moo, the battle is joined. We are we are we are dual fucking each other. That really doesn't sound good. We are dual fuck youing each other, which is different from fucking each other. Um, this is QGIS, the f the free version. Um, I did this yesterday. I'm doing it again today uh, because it's redundant and it wastes your time. Um, let's see. There's there's a way properties. Um, so right now we could we think it's a little bit more exciting by going to single band pseudo color, not random colors. That's stupid. We're gonna do spectral colors. Okay, except we want these. The blue should be the lowest, so we can do that and apply. And there we have again, like we had yesterday, have a map of the world where the more denser pop, the more densely populated areas are in red, lighter ones are in blue. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's actually interesting. If you were consistent in doing that, you would have shown that you were young, but the fact that you are doing it inconsistently and you have to talk about doing it means you're old and you're pretending to be young, although you are actually fairly young. It's very, very sad. And, and you know what? You goddamn millennials, I assume you're, so I assume you're the 19-year-old kid here, you goddamn millennials are the reason for all the problems in the world. Uh, so I am not only telling you to fuck you because you insulted me, but because you're a millennial and you're 19, you're one of those people who doesn't work, shut up, who, who doesn't work, um, which would make you 28 or 29, depending on, uh, 28, 27 or 28, depending on if you've had a birthday, which I think you haven't actually, your birthday's coming up. 27, you were not born in 1992. If you're 19 years old, you were born in the year 2001 or 2002, depending on whether you've had a birthday or not. Anyway, you goddamn millenniums all suck. Actually, I think you're beyond a millennium. I think at 19, you would become a... Um, what, what, I think uh, after millennials... Um, yeah, because millennials would be your parents. You would be a piece of shit, I think, is the correct... Uh, the correct term for people who are born to the millennials are pieces of shit. Uh, who are ruining us, and I'm convinced that you're responsible for COVID-19, by the way, Although, and COVID-19, you know, was advertised as being a, vi a, a virus that would kill a lot of people. You did a sloppy job on it. You did a really crappy job on COVID. It's not going to kill a lot of people. It's, uh, you know, the numbers are already starting to decline. It's going to go away. So as bad as the millennials were, you guys are worse. Uh, you guys are sons of millennials. Um... Well, you know, people were saying, oh, COVID's dangerous, it's going to kill everybody, uh, run away, be scared in your homes, or whatever. Eh, kind of a crappy old, uh, kind of a crappy virus. You guys did a bad job on it. You sons of millennials. And I know some of you are daughters of millennials, but because you don't respect gender anymore, I'm going to refer to you all as sons of millennials. Um, 
No, you're not Gen X's kids. Stop that. Um, you're millennial. You're millennial spawn. The sons of millennials. You are the lowest. And you know, I was hoping this virus would wipe us all out. Um, I think you mean Gen Z, by the way, or Gen Z, uh, not Gen X. But but whatever. I'm in the middle of a rant right now, so let me continue. Um, I, I just, you know, you people, I was hoping the virus would wipe everybody out. You are, no, no. The millennials are children of the generation b before the millennials. That's how, that's how freaking birth works. Um, anyway, what was I ranting on? Yes, I was hoping you guys, this, this COVID would kill you all off and we could finally end the planet because it, it's been getting worse. You know, ever since my generation of the boomers, things have been going downhill, but it's in sort of an okay, you know, you know, it's like, you know, you, you don't expect as much out of other people as you, um, as you expect out of others. Uh, sorry, what did I just say? You don't expect as much out of others as you do of yourself. And, you know, that kind of, so it's okay that Gen X didn't, not as good as us, Gen Y, not as, Gen Y. The millennials kind of decided they were just going to abuse the privilege of sucking by sucking a great deal. And you apparently are abusing the privilege of having your parents abusing the privilege of sucking and are double sucking. Um, which doesn't mean you're sucking on both tits. It means you are sucking really, really badly. To the point... Um, God damn, you're going to reproduce. That'll Your kids will be God knows what. To the point where I am actually now rooting... Unfortunately, the COVID is... Um, harming older people more so clearly you got that part of it right I mean it's, I'm assuming that was your goal not just a mistake um, but um, I, hope, I mean people are actually cheering for a virus to knock you guys out of the um, I don't care your parents you know and I and honestly Milk is true, based on uh, what you've been saying recently uh, I'm not even convinced you were born to human parents I think maybe you test tube baby or uh so, you know, spontaneous generation was a belief people had that people were evolved out of out of shit. Well, it's actually out of mud and other stuff. I'm skipping Pomodoro this time because I am in the middle of ranting. Um, well, it's actually the uh, the belief that people were came out of dirt, and you know, um, yes, um, but because that's because they won. I mean, I couldn't fight the Nazis. I mean, you can only fight the Nazis when they're actually doing something. You can't just fight them for having, because we believe in free speech, you can't just fight them for having uh, bad viewpoints in life. Um, so spontaneous generation is the belief that life came out of, like, mud or whatever. And so, you know, if someone were to tell me that you came out of a piece of cow poop, very believable. Uh, very, very believable, given what we're having today with this insulting of GIS, which I hold as... G GIS is actually pretty close to pure math, I mean, if you want it to be. Uh, it does have some applications and stuff, but when you insult GIS, you insult math, which is... Uh, I think you were made in the image of poop. Yeah, I mean, certainly. Cow poop, man poop, I don't know. I haven't seen you yet, but... Um, Okay, so Natalie's going to leave now, which leaves us even more conflicted than before. Conflict, conflict. Um, and I'm having this slight issue here with the fact that, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I'm diabetic and my blood sugar is low. Um, that, that might be true, actually, because millennials actually do have a uh, very, very advanced LGBTQ... Uh, you know, they, they respect that a lot, and they um, they are very experimental when it comes to sexual intercourse. So, as far as I know, we haven't... They might have actually forgotten how to do it. Um, but fortunately, Spontaneous Generation is helping us. And the other thing I'm trying to say is that I am actually going hypoglycemic as we speak, uh, as I feared I would, because, as I pointed out earlier in the stream, I am diabetic and my blood sugar was fairly low. Um, I'm going to continue ranting until, maybe until Natalie comes back, but I think at some point, um, fairly soon I'm going to need to get off the stream, 
um, so I can get some sugar. Uh huh. If you know what I mean, sugar baby. But not the kind of sugar I want to get from Natalie or or even you, Milkistrumu. Once you have uh, repented uh, your uh, blasphemy against GIS and math, uh, but the kind of sugar that is, uh, you know, known generally as table sugar or carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates that break down quickly. Glucose uh, is what I would need. Uh, fructose, by the way, broken down by the liver. Um, don't actually know if I need fructose. I don't know if fructose could help me. Um, I don't know if fructose would restore my... I guess it would restore my blood sugar level. Um, okay, so I'm becoming totally incoherent now. More so than I normally am. So I'm going to go ahead and end this stream now, even though it's only been like an hour, I think. It has been, yeah, just over an hour. But when I resume, I am going to put you guys in your place. Or if you've run away by then, I am going to uh, continue on my attempt to use GIS to get population counts around the world. Um, what's happening in Germany and Nepal? I don't freaking know. All right, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. I may or may not come back. Uh, hopefully I will survive, though. I will survive!